everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Crocodile Big Bite. I have been asked to do a video on this, so I'm going to do a video on the Big Bite, and I'm going to do a video on just the, the regular Crocodile. The first one we're going to do is the, is the Big Bite. So, as you know, the Crocodile Big Bite can be used to set grommets, to punch holes, to set eyelets, or snaps. So, the thing that I use it most for is to punch holes. So if you just slide this little dial all the way back, then you can see right here where it's going to have, oops, where it's going to have the punch come out. This punch is actually the 3 16th punch, which you can see on the top. It's labeled 3 16th. Then if you slide it one notch up, it will engage the smaller punch, which is 1 8th of an inch. If you move the function selector all the way to the front, this is the position that you will need to use when you are actually setting the eyelets or the snaps or the grommets. You'll need to know which number you need to set your blocks on. And I will give a list of those at the end of this video. You'll have to set the bottom and the top. So usually, since I mostly use mine to set eyelets, I usually keep the top and the base combination on the eyelet one. Okay, so for small eyelets, around one eighth of an inch, you will need the top to be set on C and the bottom to be set on 3. Okay, the base 3 and the top C. And you can measure with this ruler exactly where you want the hole to be punched. There's three rulers here, one for the eighth inch hole, one for the settings, and one for the 3 16th inch hole. So since this is just scrap, it, it's not going to matter. Okay. So there's our hole. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our small little eyelet in the hole. Once it's in there, we're going to move your selector to the front, line up the top and the bottom, and then firmly press. And that will set your eyelet. Okay? To do a brad, or to use this for a brad, all you would need to do is punch a hole, put your brad in, and open the fastener in the back. Okay, so there's an eyelet and bread. In order to set a grommet, you'll want the settings to be D4. So I will look for the D block on the top and the number four at the bottom. Okay, once it's set, you're going to set your grommet upside down on the bottom base, just like that. You want your prongs pointing upward, and then you're going to insert your paper upside down so that it's on the right section. So this is the, the bottom part of my paper, and I want the grommet to be on that side. There's no reason to put a hole in here first, but you will need to adjust your, your selector to the beginning position. And then press down, and it sets your grommet. Okay, so now we have an eyelet, a brad, and a grommet. The only other piece of advice I could give you is if you wanted to punch a hole in an exact location, you could use your machine upside down, look, look through here, because there's an opening, line it up, and punch it exactly where you want it. So if you needed it to be punched right on the center of a flower, then you could do it that way. It's a little awkward to hold, but it is worth it if you need to get the hole exactly where you need it to be. So there's the functions of the crop -a -dial. Thanks, guys.